Students writing tests and exams at home means lecturers and teachers have had to find innovative ways to combat cheating. And the best way to take on our tech-savvy cheaters is to fight fire with fire. Yep, some universities, including UNISA and schools, have rolled out the Invigilator app to monitor students while they're writing remotely. Well, for more on the app, we're joined by Nicholas Ramir, who's the founder and CEO of the Invigilator app. Nicholas, uh, tell me how it works. I've often wondered, these kids are sitting there Googling up the answers. Uh, how does an app check against that? Morning. Nice to, nice to be with you this morning. So we're a group of academics. Three out of the four founders actually have a background in, in academia. Together we have over 30 years experience in, in the academic sector. Um, luckily my brother's a gifted coder and the four of us got together last year and started discussing how students were going to actually write examinations going forward under the new circumstances that we were now exposed to. And as a lecturer, the major risk you're trying to combat currently is who's actually writing that paper at home because now obviously we don't have physical invigilators present to determine that so we've created an app with facial recognition technology that makes sure it's the right student that's writing the specific paper at the time there's also speech detection algorithms that work in the background making sure students aren't talking as well as mapping your gps coordinates to make sure students aren't writing the same room together essentially what we built is an application that works in all entry-level smartphones so it's accessible to all students across south africa and it allows academic integrity to be maintained while students are now writing remotely. It's actually genius. I mean, outstanding work, guys. Uh, in a statement, though, UNISA said that it's noted concerns raised by students about the use of the app, but the institution insists that invigilation is non-negotiable. How have other students responded? So typically you get the, the learner curve effect where any technology that's now being that being implemented because it's not familiar to the students. There is sometimes concern from that point of view. But to answer that question, the solution has been built by academics for academics. This is not an international solution that's come from America or Europe that doesn't take into account our South African students and the limitations that they experience. We've built the application in a way that it requires very, very little data to run. Any entry level smartphone can download the application as well as being able to utilize it in a user-friendly way so that it doesn't invade that student's privacy or distract them while writing. Yes, students have been accustomed now to writing without any monitoring, and I think the initial pullback is obviously for those students that are sometimes thinking that they want to write in groups potentially unethically, but the reason that the technology has now been implemented is to maintain academic integrity because what's so important is the quality of those degrees needs to be maintained so that when all those students reach the job force, there's obviously credibility behind all the degrees that they've worked so hard towards achieving. And because of the application now, students can continue writing in the correct manner, just like they would have when a physical invigilator was watching over them. Who pays for the app? So we sell the app to the, to the universities. So we, because we've built all the technology ourselves, we've been able to adopt a fixed cost model. So the way we've priced it is that universities pay per student per year for unlimited use of the assessments and in terms of the application use. So what it means is a perfect continuous assessment education tool. So we're starting to see a move away from lecturers just testing and examining students annually or semi-annually. And now through the use of technology like the Invigilator application, you could be testing students weekly, continuously testing them, using the application in diverse ways to monitor short assignments, projects, short multiple choice questions, as well as then their sit down examinations at the middle of the year and at the end of the year. So it really is a diverse educational tool that the university can utilize for monitoring and controlling risk and ensuring that academic integrity is there while increasing the education in the way that they're teaching with regards to continuous assessment and blended learning. All right, thank you so much, uh, and well done on creating the app. That's Nicholas Remier. He's the CEO and co-founder of the Invigilator app.